Well, I guess uh, I guess we should get started then. Um, uh, unless you want to wait for any more, no, that's fine. All right, so um, yeah, well, welcome to the webinar. Uh, my name is Mason. Uh, I'm from the support team. I'm sure I've spoken to plenty of you before on the phone. Um, now I must let you know that uh, this webinar is being recorded for training purposes, as well as for you guys to refer back to later. Um, that you know just means that you don't have to. Uh, remember every single thing that I say today, um, so no pressure. Um, it's all recorded. So uh, today's webinar is going to be on Cabmaster's companion product, Panel Estimator. If you haven't heard of Panel Estimator, it's a small program that gets installed alongside Cabmaster, and it's used to estimate how many boards you may need uh, for cutting out a job, as well as cutting times, um, but mainly it's fairly panel saw orientated. Um, so you may not use this one if you already have Easy Nest or a CNC. So um, what we'll cover today is uh, sending parts from your Cabmaster jobs to Panel Estimator, nesting parts in Panel Estimator, and a few other uh, features and controls we have in Panel Estimator. We won't be covering how to install Panel Estimator because the install process um, should be handled by us, the support team. Um, uh, the installer is not publicly available. So um, don't worry if you can't find it. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Um, so just before I start on Panel Estimator, uh, there are a few features of this webinar that I should let you know about. Um, on the left-hand side of the screen, you should see some tabs. Uh, among other tabs, there's the Q&A tab. If you have any questions about uh, what I'm talking about today, just type your question down the bottom. Um, your question won't be visible to everybody unless they're answered, uh, but when they are answered, other people can refer to them. Um, that being said, please keep your questions about Panel Estimator, um, just because uh, that's what the webinar is about today. And if you have any questions that aren't related to Panel Estimator, uh, please just give uh, support a call or an email. That's what we're, uh, yeah, that's what we do. Um, and also today, I'm going to be using Cabmaster 11.1.0.121. That's the latest release of Cabmaster currently, latest public release. Um, and I'm also going to be using the latest version of Panel Estimator. Um, I can't guarantee that this is going to work exactly the same on older versions of Windows, like Windows 7. Um, it most likely will, but, that should, um, but I can't guarantee it. Uh, and then I can almost certainly guarantee it won't work on other operating systems like Linux or Mac, um, because yeah, then it's not really designed for them. Um, so yeah, Panel Estimator, oops, wrong one, that one. Panel Estimator is actually already available um, and accessible for any customers with a Designer Pro license. Um, it's included in the list here. It's also included for anyone with Machining Premium down here. So if you think you should have Panel Estimator and you don't have it installed just yet, uh, you can always contact contact support on you know, 03 9040 or send us an email to um, support at cabmastersoftware.com. Um, yeah, but if you don't have one of these packages that I've mentioned and you still want Panel Estimator, you can always contact your sales rep um, and they can get it added to your license. Um, yeah. So, uh, and one more thing before I start looking into Panel Estimator itself is there is a knowledge base that we have on Panel Estimator called the Panel Estimator Help Guide. It allows you to download this um, PDF that goes through in great detail every single part of Panel Estimator. Um, it may, it's probably going to go into much more detail than I am, so it might be a good thing to keep on your radar. Um, outside of this webinar. Cool. So, all right, let's get started. So this is my um, Cabmaster drawing. It's not the best. I'm not sure why I chose that color, but um, to send things to Panel Estimator, so long as we have installed it for you and it's all working correctly, you should just be able to hit File, Export, Companion Products, Panel Estimator. You're going to get used to that uh, path because you'll be pressing it a lot. <laughs> File, 
export companion products panel estimator. So once you hit that, if I've done my job correctly, it should launch automatically. And there it is. So this is panel estimator. Um, it's completely blank at the moment. Um, and there are no parts down here. Now, if I hit file, import from Cabmaster, you'll see we get a list of all the materials in that job that I have open that I just sent. And it's only the materials from that job. Uh, you can select the material you want to nest. You can select more than one material, and it's going to split the nests up into their respective materials. But just for this example, I'm going to use the carcass. So once I choose the carcass, I'm going to press OK. This screen has to do with grain matching, and I'm going to come back to this in a minute uh, once we start doing the doors. But just for the carcass, I'll press OK. And you can see in the bottom left, we have all of our carcass parts and the different sizes. Also their uh, count. Um, but yes, you can see we're um, still not nesting anything. Um, and to get those parts onto your boards, you want to go to the Tools tab and hit the green Run button. Give it a moment. Quite a few parts. Ah, yes, it looks like it has saved something that I'll come back to later. Yes, it has right there. All right, so ignoring the fact that there's a large gap, horizontal gap between all the parts at the moment because of something I was testing earlier, um, uh, is our parts nested onto the board. You can see it's going to take 16 boards with that large of a gap, 100 mil gap vertically or horizontally um, between the parts. So that's understandable. Plus they are 24 by 12. So that's the um, size that I, I've currently been using. Um, oh yes, so um, over to the left you can see we have yeah 16 patterns, each pattern has the individual part on them uh, and once we have it all uh, nested nicely onto this A4 paper we can actually print it. So under file, print, oops, uh, so there's a few options under the print tab, one of them's print setup which I can choose the uh, the printer at the moment. I have it set to print to PDF just to show you. So when I go print, print to PDF, I'm going to save it to my desktop for now. Let's call it example. Give it a moment. There we go. And if I go, um, uh, there it is. Oops, uh, opened it twice. There it is. Okay, so. This is uh, what gets printed out. It's literally exactly what you see in the panel estimator. Um, just a list of all the parts down here. Um, offcuts, uh, list of offcuts as well, all the parts that don't get used at the moment, etc. Um, so that one, you, I suppose you can print out and take down to the panel saw as well, just to keep track of everything. Um, yeah. So that was the uh, that was the carcass, and I might try and do the doors next. Uh, now, when uh, nesting again, when you're uh, starting a separate part of a job, like um, doing the doors as well, I tend to close Panel Estimator and resend it from Cabmaster. That, I find, is just the best way to, to do it. It seems to um, uh, yeah, reset everything ready for um, what, we're, uh, what we're after. So if I go to File, Export, Companion Products, Panel Estimator again, should launch automatically. And this time, I'm going to go to File, Import from Cabmaster, and choose my doors, which are made from Legato 18mm Moroso Milan. Grain matching, I'll come back to that in a minute. So you can see these are my doors this time. Now, Last time I just went to the Tools tab and hit Run for the carcass, and that worked out nicely. But this time, if I press Run, we get this message popping up. Um, this is because inventory code Legato 18 Milmoros and Milan is, does not exist yet in our list down here. We have an inventory item list, um, or a boards list, uh, and it lists by name 
each material we're nesting and also the size. And it lets, uh, panel estimator lets us add that automatically just by pressing yes. You can see it's down here in the list and all my parts are getting nested. So um, once again, we still have that <laughs> large gap. I haven't fixed that yet, uh, but ignoring that large gap, we have now got a 24 by 12 by, uh, well, 24 by 12 Legato 18 mil Moroso Milan um, in our list. If I wanted to nest this on a different size, maybe a 3600 by 12, I can try a you know, 3620 into this list down here. To save that change, I would hit File, Save All. And I'm going to do the old, actually, while I'm here, I'm going to go to that Soil Control tab and get rid of that massive gap as well, <laughs> which I'm going to come back to later. Uh, let's put this on three as well. And I might go Save All again, File, Save All. I'm going to close this and send it once again. File, Export, Companion Products, Panel Estimator. And give it a minute. Cool. And we'll go. Uh, as you can see down here, it has saved my Legato 18 mil Morosso Milan this time. And I've it's even saved my change that I made 36 by 20. So if I go File, Import from Cabmaster again, just to show you, choose that name that matches. Press OK and run it again. Now, all the parts are on a 36 by 12. There's only three of them this time. I've got three patterns. Awesome. And it's also fixed my 100 mil gap, <laughs> which is good. All right. Um, but say if we wanted to nest uh, on an off cut before we started using the big 36 by uh, 12s. We can use this list down here, the uh, inventory item list, to add another copy of the Legato 18 mil Morosso Milan. Um, now this list here actually works from top down, which means that it is going to go and read every single name for every single board, looking for an appropriate board to nest these parts on by name and then by size um, until it finds one. So because it goes from top down, I actually have to put the uh, off cut up the top. Let's say this off cut is 1200 by 1200. Why not? You never know. Um, and I'm going to manipulate the count so that I only nest on one 1200 by 1200. And it's going to read from the top down. And let's make this next one 3620 by 1220. Sure. Uh, I'm going to say there's, you know, plenty of those 999 just so we don't run out of those. But essentially, it's going to go top down and find the most appropriate board uh, for the part. It's going to find this one. There's only one in stock. It's going to nest it. Once we've run out of that board, it's going to stop nesting anything on the offcut and go straight to the normal sized ones. There's plenty of those left. So let's see that work. Um, so I've added two of the same uh, part here. I'm going to go file. Ah, can't hit table. Huh. Okay. Control S. Hmm. Let's see if that's saved. So if I close this. File, export, companion products. Oops. Give it a minute. <laughs> I think it's that purple color. It's too, uh, too much. Give it a moment. Aha, so it's not saved. All right, well, um, it's easy to make changes to this list before you add the parts anyway. So I might do that again. So I'll go down here. I'm going to add my second copy of Legato 18 mil Moroso Milan. This one's actually going to be 36 by 20, 36 by 12. <laughs> um, and this one's going to be my offcut because once again, it's working top down. Change that to 1200. I'm going to have as many as I like of the big ones and just one of the offcuts. So now that's my list. I can then go to File, Import from Cabmaster. Choose the doors again. Okay. Go up to the Tools tab and hit Run. And somewhere in this list, there it is, number one. That's my offcut. So it's nested four doors on the offcut 
And then once it's run out of space on the off cut, it's changed this count to zero instead of one and started using the big ones and the rest are normal sized. Okay, so um, after that, uh, that grain matching pop-up has been popping up a lot. <laughs> so let's have a look at the grain matching um, capabilities of panel estimator. So if I go to, uh, from Cabmaster again, file, export, companion products, panel estimator, I'm going to send my doors. Again, I know I've done that a few times now. <laughs> so, uh, but as you can see in Cabmaster, I've chosen kind of badly um, a grain that runs horizontally across my doors, which is a bit strange. Uh, but in Panel Estimator, if I go to File, Import from Cabmaster, and grab my doors again, and run, you can see that they're all getting nested long ways uh, down, the, uh, down the board, which you kind of assume is actually the grain direction, I guess. Uh, that's the one I normally see. Long, long, long ways, <laughs> um, horizontally. Uh, yeah, so that's not actually accurate to what we have in Cabmaster. And that's because Panel Estimator has its own system for grain direction. As you can see down here, we have our uh, Legato 18 mm Rosso Milan and its sizing. But there's another tab here, the Inventory tab, which goes through a, few, a bit more information about that part, including whether or not it is grained, so I'm going to turn that to yes, and hopefully I can actually hit save all this time. There we go. So I'm going to hit save all after changing that. So next time I close and reopen panel estimator, it's going to think Legato 18 Milmarosso Milan is grained. So that's on. Um, and we want to see that pop up again um, that we keep seeing and ignoring. So I'm going to go back to Cabmaster again, file, export, companion products, panel estimator. Give it a moment. Ah, there it is. <laughs> um, and if I go to File, Import from Cabmaster once more, choose that. This part is the next part I would like to focus on. So uh, this dimension swapping uh, pop-up <laughs> has the ability to swap dimensions on import. What that does is if I leave this unticked for now, and I run the um, run the doors, you can see they're already in, facing the wrong direction, or rather the right direction, a different direction to what they were doing before. That came from the grain choice I made. So now Panel Estimator realizes that all of these parts are grained, and it needs to lock them facing one direction. At the moment, without that tick box ticked, that we saw earlier, it's locked the direction to vertical. Now, if I close this without saving, send it again, and this time, so this time, so last time we, we didn't tick the box, so I'm gonna choose the uh, doors again. Last time we didn't tick this box and they were nested vertically uh, with the grain running horizontally. Uh, which is actually how I have it set up here. Uh, but this time I'm going to tick it. And we're going to hit run. And now they're all being nested uh, with the vertical grain and running horizontally along the board. So panel estimator has its own idea of what the grain direction is. And we have to manipulate that either, uh, yeah, horizontally or vertically, and um, yeah, Panel Estimator knows, I guess, the top and bottom of the door, or, you know, to the direction of the door, um, and it uses that to uh, nest it in a certain direction, and we can change that direction from that pop-up upon importing. Uh, but that only works accurately when you have the grain choice ticked on for that material. Awesome. So another thing you probably have noticed is um, that they're not nesting absolutely everywhere that they can fit. Um, even when I did the carcass and it wasn't grained, there were still offcuts. That comes down to the algorithm I'm using, the nesting algorithm in the top. 
We have four options up here for the nesting algorithm. Um, I tend to use for uh, best fit st stack shelf packing, <laughs> bit of a tongue twister. Um, but I use that because I have seen other cabinet makers using that. Um, that's my main reasoning for it. Uh, it seems to optimize it best for a panel saw when uh, you're, you know, running lengthways down the down the board. I think um, I can't say I'm the most experienced with um, a panel saw. So, uh, but like I said, there are four options. And on the knowledge base that I mentioned earlier here, our PDF, um, which is the Panel Estimator User Guide, it's a little bit old, but everything just uh, everything's exactly the same except for it looks a little bit newer. Um, this on page 20 goes through what each of these algorithms does um, and page 21. So you can see this one, best fits shelf stack packing, um, takes one panel at a time and uh, yeah, does some stuff with it. I won't really go through these in great detail because um, it will most likely need to be trialed and errored uh, by you guys. You guys might have to um, play around with it and see what works best for you. Um, so there is a uh, another option I was using earlier, this one, uh, where I had 100 mil gaps between all of my doors on the um, on the nest. Uh, that came from my rip curve, I believe. That was the one I still had at 100 mil. So um, down here we have the run control and saw control tabs. These uh, rip and dock curve. Uh, columns in this tab are quite important. The rip kerf one is the horizontal gap, as we saw earlier, uh, between boards. It's going to go in there. So if I just show you, let's do it again. 100 mil. I'm not sure. I think it's going to be using the kitchen line, but can't hurt to change both. So I'm going to change these to 100, hit save all. So the rip kerf is the horizontal gap and the dock kerf is the vertical gap. So we can use that sort of column to manipulate how far away we're nesting the parts. Um, you can, uh, I think it was designed to compensate for the thickness of the blade you're using to cut them out, which makes sense. But um, if you do need them, you know, further apart for whatever reason, um, then yeah, you can use these uh, values to manipulate them. And just to show you an example, Give it a minute. There we go. Still have my 18mm uh, legato. Oh, yep. So down here in the saw control, we have 100mm for the rip curve. Let's make the dock curve like, I don't know, 50, just so we can tell the difference between them. I'm going to go File, Import from Cabmaster. Choose the doors one more time. And run. So you can see much bigger gap vertically than horizontally, or in fact, that's the vertical, that's the horizontal. So much bigger horizontal gap than vertically, rather, because I've set that one to 50 and that one to 100. So that's what those ones do. There is one more, uh, the board trim column, which I currently have set to 5 mil. Um, I've heard that that is uh, probably ideal to keep it on 5 mil, but this is the margin around the... Um, the board, how far away these parts are getting nested from the uh, edge of the board. Uh, and you can use this to uh, manipulate uh, that as well. So if I resend from my drawing to panel estimator again, file, import from Cabmaster. Uh, and before I do that, before I press run, I can go down to this saw control again and manipulate the board trim, maybe make this one 100 mil. Why not? Just something big so we can see it. Oops, and go to tools, run. And you can see now, um, yeah, it's much further away from the uh, dimensions that we have in here. Awesome. So there's one more um, section I might go into, which is the uh, reports option in here, in the file uh, report section. Uh, if I hit report, uh, we get two options in here. Unlike Cabmaster, there's a few more options in Cabmaster, but this one has 
uh, two, and they're called optimizer labels. And that's because if I open them, they are labels. Um, each one for each different part. Uh, I see more than one page. Oh dear, I forget how to change the page. Anyway, um, yes, you can see they've got labels for um, each part. So that one's a uh, door. Oh, they're all doors because <laughs> I nested all the doors. But yeah, so that's um, uh, the labels that you can have access to. You can paste them onto the part. I guess you'd need to print them onto A4 uh, sticker paper. And there are options up here to print, like that button up there. Um, yeah, so those are all available. Um, as far as the rest of the options in this menu, I may leave them uh, for you to check out in the user guide, or if you'd like to, you can always um, give us a call in support or send us an email for anything very specific, just because there are a lot of options here. Um, you can use them for, for time, um, uh, time calculations and things like that. It's just that, um, yeah, if I went through every single one, I'm sure we'd be here for a long time. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I guess um, that sort of covers it. Uh, sending things from Cabmaster uh, to Panel Estimator, File, Export, Companion Products, Panel Estimator, that starts it up. File, Import from Cabmaster to bring the parts in, Organized by Materials. You have your Boards list here, which works from top down. Um, and you can manipulate the uh, size and offcuts um, however you like. and um, yeah, that's about it. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for listening. If you missed anything from the start, because I noticed a few people joined after I'd already started, um, I am recording this webinar. So you can always double check um, once we upload it to YouTube. You can always go back through it again, uh, see anything you missed at the start. Um, and, yeah, thank you very much for listening. Um, I guess now we're going to read through the Q&A questions um, and things, right, Nick? And take a look at what um, you guys had. Yes, so if you have any uh, questions, just go to the Q&A tab. You can type them in down the bottom. We currently don't have anything. Um, oh. Any questions there? Um, if you need help installing Panel Estimator, contact support. If you have any issues yes. with Panel Estimator, contact support. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and... Uh, yeah, make sure to uh, contact your sales representative if you uh, need uh, or if you want Panel Estimator um, installed on your computer and it's not part of your uh, package, this one. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> I was looking everywhere for that. Um, yeah, Panel Estimator. So, is that, yeah, is that anyone um, got any questions or have I sort of covered everything to get people started? Um, okay, we don't have any questions. If you could just navigate to the YouTube channel, maybe. So, oh, yeah. show everyone where our webinars will be uploaded. Fantastic. Usually within the week after the webinar has been held. Oh, um, so I would be going to my YouTube. Uh, sorry, my browser, and typing in Cabmaster YouTube. I'm not sure if it shows up on the site just yet. We'll go to uh, the YouTube page for Cabmaster Software. There it is. And you can see uh, under video, oh, there we go, webinars. You can already see the first two webinars that we've done in the past. Um, yeah. So the uh, this webinar will be available here for you guys to re-watch. Um, or send to anybody else who missed the webinar today. Uh, yeah, it's always uh, going to be available, and that will be great. Oh, the other thing I was going to check was Cabmaster software. Oops. Uh, just on our website here. Let's go to Australia. If you head to support, hover your mouse over support, and go to the help center. And type in panel estimator. That top one, panel estimator help guide, is the one I was referring to. 
that would be this one with uh, all the information. Um, it really is quite lengthy, 34 pages. So um, any specific information you may find in here already. Um, and the other thing I was going to show you on our website is, oops. uh the product information so if you go to products and you've got the designer software and manufacturing software options here just in case you want to check uh, whether or not you have that product level that has panel estimator already uh, that's always there awesome so no questions have come through i must have been very thorough <laughs> all right um, yeah, uh, oops, I might just uh, move that on to the other page. Um, yeah, so uh, is there uh, anything else I should uh, bring up, Nick? That's all. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today, and we'll Absolutely. see you next week. Yeah, thank you very much for listening. <laughs> awesome.